Okay, I'm going to watch your video. You sent me a link to your video and asked me to watch it and comment. Um, instead of just leaving um, comments in the comments thing, I'm just going to watch the video. Hopefully, change the quality. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm just going to watch the video here and I'm going to make comments based on what I see. So. Um, start is pretty good. I tend to, I saw you do this in your other video, you like sprint off at one direction, and you just like, tr like go to that direction, but, like there's almost always going to be a hunt closer, you should really, I try and make like a little circle around my TC, and like, try and find a hunt that's closer, because I can guarantee you there's a hunt that's closer to you than that one. Um, and you also preferably want one that's not right out in front of your base, um, because the hunts right out in front of your base are, yeah, those are, like, really, <laughs> those are really unsafe. I'm sure there's hunts further in the back here, and you've just, like, sprinted out to the front, and although you're doing it well that you've, like, you've got you've got like the basic build going there's gonna be a hunt back here somewhere um, so I would try and use those if possible um, otherwise so far so good try and use hotkeys I see you're clicking on the villager icon should try and use hotkeys for that um, that'll make you a lot faster let's see if there's cows back there There's probably going to be a hunt over here, would be my guess, being there hasn't been anywhere else. Eh, maybe not. Huh, maybe he just got unlucky. Alright, well. Um, I would say in general there should be usually hunts closer than that, but it looks like there's not this game, so... Um, yeah, then I guess you're stuck with that. Those should be a little bit in a neater of a line, like somewhere... Like, see how they're kind of just like walling out your gold mine? You don't really want to wall out your gold mine, like, that's not something that you want to do. You kind of want to have them in, like, an area where, like, they actually benefit you and, like, kind of protect your flank a little bit. I'd put them, like, right here in that row. Um, that's just a little minor thing to help you, like, kind of keep them together. Okay. Um, I wouldn't get hunting dogs. Yeah, okay, you don't. It looked like you were going to get it there for a second. I can't really tell what resource values you're at. Looks like you should be able to age. Maybe you should have been able to age on that one. I don't know. I can't tell how many villas you're on either. You should age on 15 almost, and you should also be having a barracks coming up. You're definitely over 200 wood. And that barracks is in kind of a bad spot too. That could be in a more defensive, like, part of your building wall type thing. Um, but so far, those are pretty minor. See if they're your scouting is good. I like your scouting pattern. You should try and scout behind my base, which you're gonna do right now. Good. Um Everything so far looks pretty good. Queuing up a veil, okay. Yeah, big big thing I notice right now is you're just clicking everything. You should try and use hotkeys, especially for Vills. It'll make like everything a lot more fluid and easy in your gameplay. <laughs> Okay, second barracks. I that should have been a. Mm, depends on what you scouted. Um, I don't think you've scouted anything. If you scouted like double barracks or barrack stable, then that would be okay. But mm, I think you should probably. Oh, definitely don't need conditioning. Definitely don't need that. That's just a throwaway of resources. So there's like two pretty big things. Um, you definitely don't need conditioning this early on. Um, you're just idling idling your barracks when you could be making units, which ain't good. Um, and then I think one of those should be a archery range, based on what you've scouted. I mean, if you've, if you've scouted barracks stable or double barracks, or double stable for some reason, then double barracks is okay, but I'm pretty sure I go barracks archery range in this game, so you should go barracks archery range as well. 
Um, so yeah, your units are a little bit behind because you like got that conditioning and waited for both barracks to be up. Um, your macro so far has been pretty crisp. Um, you probably need a bit more on gold just because um, swordsmen are really heavy on gold, so you probably don't really have quite enough on gold. Um, should like have like four or five probably by this point. Yep, and there I come with like the first poke. And this is just kind of bad luck also because, like, you're kind of stuck on those hunts out front, which <sighs> kind of sucks. Um, I would have immediately probably dropped a storehouse on my berries there just because if, if I'm playing this aggressive, I'm probably going to keep playing this aggressive, and it's going to be hard to, like... It's going to be hard to deal with that. Um, this is where if you had an archer range instead of that second barracks, that it would really definitely help you because here you notice I've got like hypa, hypa, uh, hypa bow, and um, and you've got really no way to deal with that because you don't have anything up yet. So um, uh, that's not needed. You d definitely don't need to be making like a second gold mine yet. Your first gold mine's pretty safe still. Um, that storehouse should be much closer to your berries. Uh, things, it seems like things are just kind of like going out of whack. Now your start was really good. It was pretty crisp, but now like you get a little bit of pressure on your base and it seems like you kind of fall apart and you don't really know what you want to do. Um, which happens to a lot of players, which is why, <laughs> which is honestly why I play aggressive a lot of the times, because um, it definitely helps. So, you, like, you should be, be killing those hunts if you're going to hunt over there. That berry um, one needs to be a lot closer. That berry one could be a lot closer. Um, you've got, like, a whole bunch of extra random storehouses, like that one on your back gold and one over on your side gold. Like, you don't need three gold mines this early on. You're just wasting wood that could potentially be spent elsewhere. Um, game's kind of over at this point. You have really didn't play that poorly. Um, just that, that early conditioning kind of set you behind in your unit production. I mean, it's really not that much. I mean, if you think about it, I think that tech's like 250 resources for 20%. Well, just dropping another barracks alone gives you like, when you have one barracks, dropping an extra barracks gives you like 50% extra train capacity so 20% train capacity that early on really isn't that much because you can just kind of offset that by making another barracks um, you've held in your base pretty nicely um, looks like you were probably housed for quite some time there because you didn't kind of got like thrown off and now like your eco is a little out of control. I can't really see how much gold you have, but it looks like you have a lot of gold and a lot of food and you can't really spend it and you're housed and you like kind of hastily just kind of fell apart. Um, just like remaining in control of everything even when, I mean, excuse my language, but shit is hitting the fan. You just kind of need to, um, just kind of need to adapt better and react better. It just seems like kind of just spiraled out of control a little bit after like that first pressure um, like you're on three gold mines that you don't really need to be like two is two is plenty even um, you don't really you haven't really scouted in the past like 10 minutes you don't really know what I'm doing I mean I think I'm pretty sure I have like mix up cabin here next which is like pretty standard but um yeah it's you're kind of behind now so yep um I don't know that's kind of where like the game is kind of over at this point just because like if you look at the score like you're down a pretty good chunk in score bar you're like maybe three quarters to my score which this early on is pretty big um, it's gonna be hard to recover from so, I think I'm going to stop watching there, fix those early things, and um, honestly, I mean, like, a lot of the game is, 
the reason why I win a lot of games so early on is because I just make fewer mistakes than people do in the early game and when I make fewer mistakes in the early game uh, it transitions into a better like mid and late game and stuff so um, just try and fix up some of those things and s definitely start using hotkeys you're just clicking a lot so um, using hotkeys will definitely help you as well so hopefully that helps hopefully um, Hopefully that's what you wanted, and um, let me know if you have any other feedback.